Okay, hello guys. So this is the Redmi 9 with the code name is Lancelot. And in this video, I will show you how to instantly unlock Portal the Respawn using the unofficial ways. Okay, maybe some of you guys don't want to wait for seven days, or maybe you forgot your Mi account, but you want to change the ROM into the custom ROM, you can always use this method. Okay, this is very simple, just using one click method. Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum, I'm with again with Ombab. Okay, this time I'm going to make a quick tutorial on how to instantly unlock boot order your Redmi 9. Okay, Redmi 9 with the code name is Lancelot, and this is uh, an official ways. Okay, first thing we need to do, let's go to the settings and let's uh, check the stock firmware. About phone, you can see right here it's using the Mi 12 Android 10, and if you're using the Android 11, it also work basically it can work using any MediaTek uh, phone okay <clears throat> and let's enable the developer option the new version five times go back and find the additional settings <clears throat> and then find the developer option okay the me unlock status and you can see right here the device it's still locked okay it means that the pawn has not been unlocked okay now i'm going to turn off the pawn and let's check the bootloader status from the facebook mode okay <clears throat> just want to show you that it's also still locked in the facebook mode Okay, fast boot mode can be accessed by pressing the volume down and the power button at the same time. Keep pressing the two button until you see the fast boot menu. Okay, and <clears throat> let's plug the USB cable. Then let's switch the screen. And now I'm opening the <coughs> CMD. Okay, let's, let's type. Let's put get for all. Uh, sorry. Get far. And here we go. This is our land slot and the bootloader status is still not unlocked. Okay. Okay, this is our serial number. This is the land slot and it's still not unlocked. Okay, let's now let's reboot again the pawn because we want to turn off the pawn. <coughs> Okay. While waiting, I will show you what tools we are going to use. Okay, so we're going to use these tools. It is called the uh, MTK GSM Sultan. Okay, this is made by Indonesian developer from Sulawesi Tengah Central Celebes. Okay, this is a free tools for the MediaTek ones. It's free, but for the Snapdragon, it's not free. Okay, you can see it support many devices as Oppo, Xiaomi, and other stuff. Okay, now let's turn off the phone. <coughs> let's turn it off. Okay, let's again. And basically, it not just to unlock. Okay, you can see right here it is also can remove the FRP, save format data, read dump preloader and other stuff. Okay. First thing we need to do is go to this 
this tab select your point model we're using xiaomi select redmi 9 okay then select this one the ubl unlock portlander then just hit the execute button <coughs> and when it start loading press to volume up volume down at the same time and then plug the usb cable Okay, if you problems like this one, you have tried several times. Okay, you can go to the root again, turn off the pawn again, and uh, try the try again. Okay. Okay, skip the. I skip the video. I turn on the pawn, turn off the pawn, and try it again. You can see right here. Now it's processing, and when it's finished, it will show you all is done message. It means that we already finished. Okay, let's minimize one. Minim minimize this one, and let's go to the Facebook mode. Okay, we want to check the bootloader status from the Facebook. Okay, if you have problem with the button, just take easily. Okay, be patient. <laughs> okay, it seems I failed, so I want to force reboot the pawn again. Okay, press the volume down and. Or button ah. okay now we are in the fast mode, mode again let's check the bootloader status from the cmd okay this is our serial number and but get for all and slot and now we have the bootloader unlock okay let's reboot the pawn we also want to check the bootloader status from the android settings okay let's this again and just for your information beside of the of these tools you also need the driver okay this is the one the usb dk underscore 1.0.22 and i will also provide all the files and link in my blog and i will put the link in the description box okay okay now we are entering the home screen and let's check the bootloader status from the settings Okay, settings, additional settings, developer option, and here we go. Now we have our bootloader status has been unlocked successfully using the unofficial way. Okay. and i hope you like my video if you find it very useful please give it a thumb and i also have lots of video about routing custom rom and lots of fun okay especially xiaomi samsung realme asus and other stuff okay uh you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you okay guys if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video and that's all stay self stay safe stay health and wassalamualaikum